Do you remember which body system is most affected by sodium imbalances? Well, the NCLEX loves to ask about fluid and electrolytes, so let's review this. If we're caring for a client who has critical hypernatremia, so a very high sodium, should we prioritize either monitoring their respiratory effort, performing a neuro assessment, asking about muscle cramping, or initiating cardiac monitoring? So let's consider each of these. Should we prioritize monitoring their respiratory effort? Well, we are going to monitor their respiratory effort, but am I worried about prioritizing this with hypernatremia? Not so much. This would be more of an issue with somebody who has hypermagnesemia or is on a magnesium infusion where we watch for that respiratory depression, but not for hypernatremia. Then performing a neuro assessment. Well, sodium does primarily cause neurologic problems. At the high or low end, we can have seizures, coma, and death. So I do think I'd like to do this, but let's see if there's a better answer. Should we ask about muscle cramping? Well, muscle cramping is going to be more of an issue with potassium imbalances or calcium imbalances, not so much with sodium. Should we initiate continuous cardiac monitoring? Again, not a bad idea, but not a priority. This would be a priority with somebody who's got hyperkalemia or hypokalemia, where we're worried about dysrhythmias. So of these, the neuro assessment is gonna be my priority, and I might even throw some seizure precautions in there as well. And we are correct, great job.